Here we have 4.8 using the Pythagorean theorem and a quadratic equation to find the side lengths of a right triangle. So the length of the longer leg, so we are talking about a right triangle. So let me draw my right triangle first. And it says the length of the longer leg of a right triangle is four more than twice the length of the shorter leg. So um, we're gonna say this one is four more than twice the shorter leg. And we'll let this be the shorter leg. The length of the hypotenuse is six feet more than twice the length of the shorter leg. Find the side lengths of the triangle. So again, using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that one leg squared plus the other leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So if we expand this out, This is just x squared. You expand this one out. And then foil these out. We get 4x squared plus 8x plus 8x plus 16. Bring down the plus x squared. Here we get 4x squared plus 12x plus 12x plus 36. Um, we'll combine our like terms. So on this side we get 5x squared plus 16x plus 16. On this side, we get 4x squared plus 24x plus 36. There are more positive x's on this side, so I'm gonna move these terms over. So minus 4x squared, minus 24x, and minus 36 on both sides. So these terms go to zero. Here I end up with x squared minus 8x minus 20 and the factors are going to be x and x 2 and 10 the bigger one being negative so then we get x plus 2 equal to 0 x minus 10 equal to 0 here if i minus 2 on both sides here if i add 2 on both sides or on 10 on both sides i get x equals negative 2 and x equals 10. Now we know the length of this measurement cannot be negative, so this is not a good answer. The only answer is 10. So that means that the shorter leg is 10 feet. Then if I want to find the length of the longer leg, I need to do 2 times 10 plus 4. What is 2 times 10 plus 4? That's 24. So this would be 24 feet. And then we also know that the hypotenuse is going to be 2 times 10 plus 6, which is 26 feet. Now we have the measurement of all three sides of the triangle.